Greetings guys, it is Stokraf and welcome back to at last another video on this channel. Man, I've missed this so much. It's been a very, very long time since I've uploaded the video. As you guys know, the story has been told many, many times before, so I won't go into too much detail. I do aerospace engineering on the university, which is just an amazing study. I'm loving it so far, but it's also one of the busiest, which means that I pretty much don't have any time, at least in the last quarter, um, to be able to play World of Tanks or even upload a video. But the second exam period is over. Everything went very well for me so far. So it seems like university is a keeper so far. But as I said, it is mid-year. It is the second semester is done. Which means that I have a week of holidays. Which is absolutely amazing. Because it's the week of holidays. Just in between two quarters. Which means I don't have to do anything for university whatsoever. So I can enjoy some free time. Which equals a lot of World of Tanks. And of course, a lot of YouTube videos that can be made. Of course... If you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know that I tweeted out in the beginning of the weekend um, that I announced and I asked you guys who was ready for some content. Unfortunately, I didn't upload any content this weekend, which I was planning to do so, but unfortunately I couldn't because I just didn't have anything to show off. Firstly, I thought of just uploading one of my old replays, but I want to save that for something very special. You'll probably see that soon on the channel. No spoilers though. Also, I had a lot of subscriber replays still, but those kept crashing all the time, so I couldn't show those off. Um, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it doesn't matter. So, there was only one thing left for me to do, and that was just to collect some content. And the only way I can do that is play World of Tanks, because at the moment, there is this Valentine's Day marathon, mini marathon going on right now. Uh, you can get your hands on a Valentine 2 tank for free if you do like s s missions for the whole week. So as I have a week off, I have nothing better to do pretty much in World of Tanks. So that's what I went for. And today's mission was to do at least 2000 spotting damage over any amount of battles. So that's why I was playing light tanks as you can see right here. And I ended up on this battle on cliff with the black dog. And as you can see we are conquering the lighthouse here on top of the cliff map here. Yeah, on the hill in the middle of the cliff map I should say. We... Shook off that bad chat in the beginning of the game. And now this E25 is still butchering the Cromwell that came with me up here. So he is getting shots into the Cromwell. And I think if I drive forward just a little bit. I might be able to get a shot into the top of the E25. Which is exactly what happens. But now the Cromwell makes a stupid mistake. Because he gets just baited like hell by that E25. It's crazy. And therefore he loses his life unfortunately. But I am not that stupid. So I'm just letting that E25 be there. For what he wants. So now we at least conquered the hill. So it's just a case of hopefully the E25 making a stupid mistake of coming on the hill. That's exactly what he does. I'll gladly take a hit for that because I just want to take him out. I lost half of my health. But that means that we have conquered the hill so far. The only danger for me getting pretty much taken uh, off the hill at this point is somebody rushing onto the hill from the enemy team so I'm keeping a very good look at my map I'm driving around the lighthouse several times just to be able to see if I spot anyone driving onto the hill but so far it seems like we are fine and which means we can make full use of this position here on top of the hill so I wait until I'm unspotted and I'm just going to be an absolute pain in the ass for this tiger who is driving down there at the moment. This tiger can't do anything about this whatsoever. As he is on the move. I am not scared whatsoever about him hitting him. But as soon as he stops driving. I'm just going to yeah, stay in cover here. He's got a very hard time hitting me right now. I'm just hoping uh, that he won't hit me. He fires so I know that I can put one shot into him. I go back into cover. And now I'm just not taking the risk anymore. I know he uh, got hit by artillery as we just see. So that means that he is stunned and he starts moving, which is even worse for his aim time. So we can 
freely peek out and put shots into him as he doesn't stop moving that means that we can just keep putting shots into this guy only thing i have to be careful of right now is the enemy artillery but it doesn't look like he or she is interested in me right now which is good for me as i take out the tiger right there and then so now the enemy team is advancing to our side of the map which means that of course i have to do something about it as i've got a very advantageous position for our team here i'm pretty much the only tank left on this flank which is very dangerous in the first place because uh, i have to stay alive because if i die on this flank then there's pretty much a hundred percent chance that we will lose this game luckily a t25 pilot gets taken out there two really bad rng shots mean that we don't managed to take down the t25 pilot but as this t uh, this 110 i mean is in the open we can put some free shots into this guy that's some really bad positioning really advantageous for us of course because this is just free damage let's just put a few more shots into this guy i want to make sure i hit my shots so that's why you see me aim a little bit carefully here i don't have that many hit points left so i'm not really interested in getting shot by this guy the 110 drives forward which is probably means that he's going to drive off the cliff that means that i won't be able to have shots on him anymore so i put one more shot into him hoping that that is enough for my team to be able to take that guy down the scores are even right now we were behind like three tanks at the beginning of the game so we made a very good comeback so far and at this point i was really worried because it seemed like the 110 was going to survive it seemed like our top tier amx tank was going to die so i thought okay i need to end this crossfire so i need to take down this t 3485 and that's exactly what we're going to do here a very small chance of that guy hitting me i still decide to take the risk because i just have to take this guy down that's exactly what we do very nice so there's only four tanks left on the enemy team not the most dangerous tanks ever the ikv could be stealth somewhere so that's the disadvantage of that guy the oi has been spotted on the other side of the map but is he if he has the derp gun with the he shells that he can easily end my life in one shot and unfortunately the oi survives to fight another day so far at least no spoilers though i'm trying to spot the ikv here but no success unfortunately the strv who is also still alive drives onto the hill uh which makes me think that that's an easy uh, ambush opportunity luckily my team managed to take him down already so that's my work done yeah, by somebody else pretty much so i decided to go back up onto the hill to see if i can spot that ikv one more time um but i'm going to change my mind really quickly but i do want to see first if i can spot him from here because that would be even better because if i can pull back behind this bush then there's pretty much no way that that ikv will spot me in return which will be ideal so it's just a matter of taking a good look at the map just being there but as you can see, I changed my mind. And what is my plan right now? My plan is to go into the middle uh, to see if I can spot the IKV from there. Because I think he is still in his last spotted location. I asked the AMX to follow me. Because if I manage to spot the IKV, then I can uh, stay stealth. Uh, which means that I don't lose my camera rating and I won't fire at him. And luckily, uh, or at least I hoped that the AMX could kill the... Um, yeah, the IKV. But unfortunately, that's not the case as we can see. The AMX keeps driving and apparently wants to do his own thing. So it doesn't really matter. I just try to sit here and see if I can spot the IKV. Which is not going to be the case. But then I realized there's only three tanks left on the enemy team. How dangerous can it be? The IKV is the only tank left on this flank. The artillery is probably in the base still. And the OI is no danger for me at the moment. Because he's between the buildings and on the complete other side of the map. Then the IKV gets spotted as we can see. I'm a bit late on the map there. But I eventually I do see that the IKV is on the map right there. So the AMX is fighting the IKV right now. And I just have to try and go in as, go yeah, as far as I can now. Because the AMX is almost dead. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going in straight towards the IKV. Uh, the AMX is a one shot. And I don't really want him to die. Because this game is still pretty close. Because if the AMX dies then the enemy have got a pretty good chance of winning this still. But uh, it looks like that we're going to be able to flank this IKV as we're approaching him from multiple angles. Which means he's in a crossfire. Which means he is not going to survive this fight. And a nice addition to this. He slides down just as we kill him. Which is nice. A nice addition to the battle, right? So, OI is only left. And the artillery is left. Pretty big chance that we are going to win this game right now. See if this SU can take down the OI. Luckily, he does. Only the FV-304 is left. Let's see what we can do against him. We've got one more Hep shell left. Which means that we're going to load that. 
Because if we don't, then we don't kill the artillery in one shot, most likely. Uh, I do a little bit of a mistake here. I wanted to go up here. I thought you could, but you couldn't, apparently. So, uh, I load my hep shell because uh, I lost a lot of time with that <laughs> stupid climb. I'm pretty sure the RT is here. That's why I'm driving straight towards the bushes. I get spotted. I turn sideways to try and uh, do an evasive maneuver. But it doesn't matter as we take down the FE 304. Which means that we secure the game. And a very amazing game to be able to come back on this channel. Let's take a look at the statistics of this battle everyone. Well everyone, very nice result for the black dog here on cliff. I played this battle literally an hour ago or so. As soon as I completed the daily spotting mission, I immediately went out of World of Tanks and started recording this video for you. And I hope you did enjoy it. Together with the mission, we completed another personal mission. Very nice because I'm very slow with completing these personal missions. Especially because I don't play World of Tanks that often anymore. And also a nice addition to the end of the battle, we get some very nice German toxicity. I loved my ass off and actually I played a bit with this guy. <laughs> but anyway, that's like the average player base in World of Tanks anyway, right? So that's it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then please consider leaving a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video. And please consider subscribing. I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye.